Well, darn it, everybody. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Wheel of Meal. Playing with your food. Darlings, look at this decadent Cocoa Pebbles Cake Pops Chef has for y'all. Is this gorgeous or what? Now, this is a Duncan Hine cake mix. Keep on watching, see what I'm talking about. Did they get to keep their southern car? Keep on watching. Chef Did here, and welcome to the next Wheel of Meal. Let's get to spinning. What y'all cooking today? Sugar, sugar! Cooking it where? In the oven. Messing with Chef. My choice. Hey. What we making? A cake or cake pops. Yes. Plating it on or in. A plate. Since it's my choice, I got a question for y'all. Do y'all like Cocoa Pebbles? But you might be lactose intolerant. And you babies know I'm all about that Southern card. Look what I found in the store, and I think we're going to try it. Cocoa Pebbles Cake or Cupcakes. Let's get her done. Okay, now what's in the box? You got your Cocoa Pebbles. Just a little bit. Stingy people. Got your Cocoa Pebble Mix. We even got some Cocoa Pebble Frosting. We'll grab a bowl, and however the directions tell you on the back to cook it, that's what I want you to do. So now, turn this into a cake mix. Great job, darlings. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but Chef used to make cake pops. Yes, I did, and that's what we're going to make today. So the first thing you got to do is make the cake. So it better be smelling and tasting like a cocoa pebble. But I ain't tasting it with that salmonella. But it does smell delicious. Grab your favorite cake pan. Add in your batter. Y'all know how to cook cake. Beautiful. Now let's go pop her in the oven for about 20 minutes. But we gonna check it after 15 minutes because when you're making cake pops, you want it to be moist, not dry. Whenever I used to make and sell my cake pops, I always had the chocolate covering on the outside. Hashtag Wilton. Go grab your chocolate melts. Get to melting. In the meantime, grab your cake pop sticks, your wrappers, and your cake pop stand. Now once you've melted your chocolate, this is the consistency. Now don't overheat that chocolate, it'll seize up, but if it does, grab your spoonful of Crisco. Add it in, you gotta love that Crisco. Stir in that Crisco. You can already see it start to loosen up. The magic of Crisco, y'all. It's beautiful. Now look at that chocolate, hashtag Crisco. Babies, go grab a cake out of the oven just for y'all. Now, we're going to have to go put it in a pan. Grab a bowl. Okay, one last look before we tear her up. And there she goes. Now, you want to wait till it cools. Or you can take your mommy hands and you want to take it and break it up into a bowl. Nice and crumbly. But I suggest letting it cool because this mess is hot. Keep watching. Go grab up the next video. Now that it's crumbled up nice and fine, you want to grab that cocoa pebble cake mix and squeeze it in. All of it. Now, I don't know if it's going to taste like Cocoa Pebbles, but it sure smells like it. Take your hands and smush that all in. You want to make sure you get rid of all of the frosting. Yes, this is gorgeous, and it's therapeutic, too. Now, the perfect snack size cake pop should weigh about one ounce. Roll it into a ball. Perfect. Now, grab your parchment paper and a pan. Make the rest of the balls. Mine made 18. Now, grab your stick and your chocolate. Dip it in and slide it into the bowl. Give it a twist. Do the same to the rest of them and pop them in the refrigerator for about five minutes because you want that chocolate to cool off. While they're cooling, take those cocoa pebbles, put them in your pulse where you can find this link in my bio. We're going to pulse them up. Give it a pull. I love this thing. Look at that. Set it aside. Grab your pop out of the refrigerator. Dip it in your chocolate. Tap off the excess. Pour it dry. Sprinkle on your cocoa pebbles. Pop them in the refrigerator. Finish the others. Time to scoop them up out of the refrigerator. Everybody say it with me. Darlings, y'all know exactly what time it is. Well, good lord in the morning, darlings. Look at these beautiful cake pops Chef has for y'all. Not just any cake pop. How about your Cocoa Pebbles cake pop? Does it taste like it? Will Duncan Hines get to keep their southern card? Let's go see now in my mouth. Darlings, P.S. And yes, bon appetit. Wow. Okay, Duncan Hines. Not only do they get to keep their southern cards, but baby sugar. Sugar. Yes, chefs. And if you can't eat it all in one bite, take it on the go. See y'all next week. Thank you, darlings. Bye. Oh, God, the chocolate on my teeth. But it is freaking delicious. So tell me, y'all, is it worth making or not? Now, this is from a boxed cake mix. Duncan Hines, Cocoa Pebbles. Now, you don't mess with my Cocoa Pebbles, but they did, and they did it just right. Scoop up the recipe, and I'll see y'all at the next Willow Meal. Sugar, sugar.